let's talk about shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, or dyspnea. When you think about shortness of breath, you think about lung. Yes, it's true. Uh, we're breathing through lung, and so if there is something wrong with your lung, then you'll have shortness of breath. If you have a water in your lung, definitely you'll have difficulty breathing. Uh, water could be formed in your lungs from bad heart. If your heart does not pump your blood well, your lung will have water. Also, if you have valvular heart disease, there are many different heart disease, but valvular heart disease, the muscle of the heart problems, these are the major um, causes that, ca uh, that cause lung water, water in the lung. Um, sometimes um, cirrhosis, um, renal disease, kidney disease, could cause uh, water in the lung, but major problem is heart. Sometimes pneumonia could cause water. Um, some lung disease um, causes water, uh, but major is heart disease. Another lung disease that causes shortness of breath is COPD chronic obstructive lung disease like asthma if you had it for a long time over six months uh, we call it COPD bronchitis emphysema all these different type of COPD lung disease that will cause shortness of breath um, details you need to go uh, ask your doctor but if you have uh, this type of lung disease, you need to go see a, a lung specialist, um, especially if you have seasonal asthma, cough from like um, flowers, any type of dust, plants, uh, allergic to some um, anything like cats and dogs cause um, asthma, then you'll have shortness of breath. And so you need to go see a lung specialist. Uh, I said about pneumonia before. Yes, if you have an infection, let's say you have a bad bronchitis, uh, cold, sometimes it becomes a pneumonia, and, and you'll get shortness of breath. So this, you need to go see a doctor and get treated. Also, if you have a trauma to your chest, uh, you could have uh, air in the lung, blood in the lung. Um, so you need to go see a doctor for that also. Pronto, very fast. Um, if you travel on an airplane for a long, long time or sitting on a truck or um, car for a long time, sometimes you get pulmonary embolism. And that you need to go see your doctor also fast. So... Uh, mostly um, something that you could treat. Um, so you need to go see a doctor and get proper diagnosis. Also, sometimes um, very nervousness causes shortness of breath. There's nothing wrong with your lung, but there's nervousness. You feel like you're short of breath. Uh, that you need to go see a doctor and take some relaxing pills or shot and calm down. Um, all these things you need to go see a doctor. You can't just stay home and say, hey, I'm short of breath, right? So you need to go see a doctor and get proper diagnosis, get chest x-ray and whatnot, and get treated.